Okay, GOUI. Alright, uh, this one uh, took me a little bit to figure out here. Uh, this is kind of, has kind of a quirky way of doing things. Uh, more like It's more like a game engine. If you've ever programmed any games or anything like that, that'll, uh, it, it might be uh, a little... Uh, it might seem a little more familiar, but it has this really its own way of doing things, right? Okay, and if you go into the documentation, you know, you got all this, uh, you know, intro to you and all that other kind of stuff. But then they have, uh, there's one tutorial, and I, I gotta give this guy credit, I didn't really understand Geo until I took this guy's uh, tutorial. Let me see, this one. And he, he goes through building an egg timer. It's a ten-part tutorial, right here, right. And this is gonna, this is a very good written tutorial. So I, I'll leave a link to that. And uh, let's get into some code here, right? Okay, let's let's set up some uh, boilerplate here. Okay, so we're gonna go package main, like always. We're gonna have import. We're gonna have a, a bunch of imports. One's gonna be one's gonna be uh, geoui.org slash app, and then we're gonna need geo. Those are the first two we're gonna need, right? Alright, and we're gonna set up a main function. Like I said, this runs kinda like a game engine. Um, so we're gonna have a special way we're gonna do this. So we're gonna do the front main. Okay, and then we're gonna have we're gonna have a a, a function, a draw function that draws out the widgets because that's basically how it uh, how this whole thing works, and it's gonna return the error. Okay, and we're gonna put a window, which is gonna be app dot window. Okay, I know that ahead of time, right? So we're gonna go w uh, app. away my damn okay app app dot new has to be big uh, uppercase new window we're gonna put in an app dot title so it'll be the title of the app and it's gonna be hello world size so we're gonna have to put in the units okay so unit DP it's di device independent pixels look it up if you don't know all right this <clears throat> also I forgot uh, this has to go in a go routine right a go routine just executes it on uh, why did it do that okay it executes uh, on a different channel or thread so this is basically the way Basically, the way you do threads, you can you can do a bunch of go phone uh, go uh, go routines, and it'll run these functions, right? And you have to make sure you do this at the end. Uh, this is an anonymous function. If you know JavaScript, you know you know about these anonymous functions. And this this executes this anonymous function right here, right? Okay. All right. I'm gonna just put in a bunch of these, and as we go along. Uh, the things we have to include as we go along I'm gonna call these out and I'll tell you what they do all right okay so now let's work on this uh, this is this alone is not gonna bring up any window right here right and then we got to put this in app dot size it has to be uppercase okay I'm going to 
should work. Alright, now we have to get this loop in here. And I'll explain this. Uh, I'm just going to cut and paste this because uh, it's a lot of boilerplate with this. But once you get it up and running, it's worth it. Alright, so in order to draw anything on the screen in, uh, <clears throat> uh, with uh, Geo, first what you have to do is you're going to make a loop that goes around, right? And it listens for events that are coming from the window, right? And then what you're doing is you're doing a switch statement. It's like an if statement. So if uh, so if E the, the type of E is a frame event. A frame event is what runs every time. So it's gonna bam, 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 every, as fast as it can go, right? Uh, it can keep drawing this, you know, keep drawing the screen or whatever, right? Because this is in this is in a go function that's gonna basically run run forever, okay? All right, and then inside here, you're gonna get a, a layout context, and this ops right here is going to uh, it gives you like a measurement to paint on the screen, right? Because uh, you'll, you'll you'll just basically be painting things to this ops thing, right? As, as we get further along in this, right? So this will finally run, and we got a window. All right, we got our hello world window. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so now what we want to do, we, we want to kind of refactor this deal right here, right? And then we wrote this draw function. I, I commented it out because I was trying to debug some stuff, right? So basically what we want to do is we want to take this for loop and put it in here, right? So now we have uh, we have our we have our main method doing the whole loop, and this is what we're going to use to draw right here, right? And so we can we can catch an error off of here too. So if uh, error equals draw, and it's going to take this W this window. So if any errors come off of that. Okay, and error is not equal to nil. Then we're going to log fatal. Then we'll put uh, we'll put e. Uh, are we going to put e in there? Or we'll just put error in there. Okay, and it'll import log for me itself, right? Okay, and then I, I believe right here, yeah, we have to return nil, so this should still work. If it doesn't, it's your fault. Okay, so it still works, okay? So we basically got that going, right? So now we want to define a layout, right? So we have the flex layout. And it's gonna go, it's gonna go vertical. So that's gonna be up and down in space. And for whatever reason, it starts at the top. So just take that for what it's worth. And now we're just gonna put in a series. Uh, we're gonna put in layouts. We're gonna put in a layout. And what we're gonna put in here. I don't know why they didn't just call these columns or whatever, right? So you put a. Uh, so you put a you put a, a layout dot rigid in here. This is gonna and this one. This is basically container right here, and they could have called this column. I don't know why, but they didn't, right? So layout dot rigid, right? And then I put a layout and a spacer in here, right? Which is 250 pixels. So it's gonna it's gonna push it's gonna push uh, the hello world down the page, right? Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna make another layout that rigid. This is basically gonna put a, a space, right? And uh, okay, so this one, right? What you have to do is because it has to return the dimensions, right? Let's return dimensions. Okay, so you're getting the layout context here, and you're using this material library, this material library, and using the label class. 
there's a, 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 a theme. I got to put that up there. There's a theme. Let me let me go to that so that we so that we can put this. Uh, mate- okay, this here's the theme. Material no theme. This Go Font collection right here, right? Uh, let me see. Did we import that? By the way, this is Lepton. This is where I, I keep all of my gist and stuff like that. Here's my beautiful face. There we go. Okay, so we'll just take the rest of these and we'll... we'll... Okay. So now we got everything. That's where we're getting that go font from. And... Theme, okay? And it's gonna this unit DP uh, device independent pixels 50. You're gonna have 50. This is gonna be 50 pixels tall, and it's gonna say hello world. A label that says hello world, right? And it's gonna go all the way across the screen, all right? So where I'm gonna align the text to the middle of the screen, okay? And then we will return this. Uh, we'll return this label, and it will use it. It'll. It's gonna add it to this context right here, and it's gonna use this operation. Uh, e dot frame it's going to use this operation to paint it on each frame right so let's try this out okay so let's try this out and voila there we go we have hello world in the center of the screen all right and if we didn't put this spacer there it's basically the spacer is going to push it down 250 pixels and it's 50 pixels, so it's okay. I probably should put it to 275, but it looks good where it's at, right? And we have the, you know, we have we have the flex flex box layout. But this is basically the pattern right here. You create the layout right here, right? And then you'll just put a bunch of these ridges there. You can put uh, maybe I'll do an, another tutorial. You can put margins around these to push them to either side, and you'll just go down the page like that. Um, you know, we'll be doing some more tutorials in the future on this. We're on on Geo, uh, and thank you for your time and attention.